the ratio test is awesome. What test should I apply? Well, for this series, the ratio test will work wonderfully. I can really tell that the ratio test is just gonna be great for this because I've got these factorials and these powers, so I can expect a lot of cancellation to happen. Let's compute the limit of the ratio of neighboring terms. So all right, uh, a sub n is n factorial over n to the n, and I'm trying to calculate the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n plus one over a sub n. And that's the limit as n approaches infinity. What's a sub n plus one? I just gotta replace these n's with n plus one. That's n plus one factorial divided by n plus one to the n plus one power divided by what's a sub n? Well, that's just n factorial over n to the nth power. That can be simplified. First of all, I've got a fraction with fractions in the numerator and denominator, so I can clean that up a bit. This is the limit as n approaches infinity of n plus one factorial times n to the n divided by n factorial times n plus one to the n plus one power. Now what can I do? Well, I've got an n plus one factorial in the numerator and an n factorial in the denominator. So this n factorial cancels everything except for the n plus one term here. So this is the limit as n approaches infinity of just n plus one times n to the n divided by, so that n factorial is gone now, n plus one to the n plus one power. Well, I've got an n plus one in the numerator and a power of n plus one in the denominator, so I can use this to change this n plus one into just an nth power. So this is the limit as n approaches infinity of n to the n over n plus one to the n. And if you'd like, I could rewrite this a bit too. I could write this as the limit as n approaches infinity, and instead of separately raising the numerator denominator to the nth power, I could just write this as n over n plus one to the nth power. But how do I evaluate the limit? Well, to analyze this limit, if you really love L'Hopital's rule, you could just apply L'Hopital's rule. I don't really like L'Hopital's rule that much, so instead, I'm just gonna recall a useful fact. In fact, this might have been how you define the number e. The limit as n approaches infinity of one plus one over n to the nth power is e. Now, how can I take this fact and say something about this limit? Well, I could combine this into a single fraction. So one plus one over n is n over n plus one over n, which means the limit of n plus one over n to the nth power as n approaches infinity is e. And now this looks a whole lot like this. And indeed, all I have to do is use the fact that the limit of a reciprocal is the reciprocal of the limit to conclude that the limit of n over n plus one to the nth power is in fact one over e. What does that imply about the original series? Now one over e is less than one, and that means that according to the ratio test, the given series converges. We can do even better. Does the series, n goes from one to infinity, of n factorial divided by n over two to the nth power converge or diverge? Yes, this series converges. Let's see why. Well, here we go. Let's set a sub n equal to n factorial over n over two to the n. And my claim is that the sum n goes from one to infinity of a sub n converges. And to justify this claim, I'm gonna use the ratio test. So big L, which is the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n plus one over a sub n. Well, in this case, what is that? That's the limit as n approaches infinity of this with n replaced by n plus one. It's n plus one factorial over n plus one over two to the n plus one power divided by a sub n, which is n factorial over n over two to the nth power. 
It's kind of a mess because I've got fractions in the numerator and denominator. So I can simplify that. I can rewrite that as the limit n goes to infinity of n plus 1 factorial times n over 2 to the n divided by n factorial times n plus 1 over 2 to the n plus 1 power. Now I've got an n plus 1 factorial divided by an n factorial. Most of those terms cancel except for the n plus 1. So I can rewrite that as just n plus 1 in the numerator. Let me simplify this a bit too, or at least expand it out. I can write this as n to the n divided by 2 to the n. So it's n to the n divided by 2 to the n. And the denominator here, well, the n factorial goes away, but I can rewrite this as n plus 1 to the n plus 1 power divided by 2 to the n plus 1. Now I can keep simplifying this. I've got an n plus 1 in the numerator, an n plus 1 to the n plus 1 power in the denominator. I can cancel one of those n plus 1s in the denominator. So now I've just got n plus 1 to the nth power in the denominator. In the numerator, I've still got n to the n. Now in the numerator, I'm dividing by 2 to the n, so I can put that in the denominator. And in the denominator, I'm dividing by 2 to the n plus 1, so I can put that in the numerator. Now I've got 2 to the n plus 1 divided by 2 to the n. Everything except for a single factor of 2 uh, cancels. So what I'm left with here is n to the n over n plus 1 to the n times 2. But this I can combine to be the limit n goes to infinity of n over n plus 1 to the n. And I've still got that times 2. But we already saw that the limit of just n over n plus 1 to the n as n approaches infinity is 1 over e. So this whole limit is 2 over e. And 2 over e is less than 1. So by the ratio test, this series converges. What if that 2 became a 3? Well, does the series n goes from 1 to infinity of n factorial over n divided by 3 to the nth power converge or diverge? No, this series doesn't converge. Here's the argument that we used to show that the sum of n factorial over n over 2 to the n converges. Now, we switched that 2 for a 3. We should just figure out how this argument needs to be uh, changed. So let's replace this 2 here with a 3. And now the claim is that that series doesn't converge anymore, but that it diverges. Again, I should be applying the ratio test here. So I'm looking at the limit of the ratio of subsequent terms. But this has some 2's that I swapped out for 3's. Here I've got some 2's that I need to swap out for 3's. And here I've got some 2's that I need to swap out for 3's. Here's some more 2's that need to be replaced with 3's. And here I've got 3 to the n plus 1 over 3 to the n. So instead of multiplying by 2, I'm now multiplying by 3. This 2 becomes a 3. And here's the worst part. This 2 becomes a 3. And 3 over e is not less than 1. 3 over e is bigger than 1. And because big L is bigger than 1, the ratio test says that this series diverges. Let me leave you with a question. Does the series n goes from 1 to infinity of n factorial divided by n over e to the nth power converge or diverge?